Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. This is the last part of multi part to mini video series on how to deploy Windows 11 with MDT and WDS. In the last video, we learn how to configure MDT settings, how to create a task sequence and how to configure WDS. Link to that video is given in the description. In the final video, we will test a deployment of Windows 11 over the network on a PXC enabled boot client. Everything is set. Now we just need to install Windows 11 on a client with a PXC enabled network card. In this lab, I'm using a VirtualBox VM to test this functionality. Make sure that your device or VM is set to boot from the network card. For this video, we are using Windows 11 VM created in Oracle VM VirtualBox. Let's start the VM. Immediately and repeatedly press the escape key. When you see this screen, navigate using the arrow keys to boot manager option and press enter key. Now select the UEFI PXC version 4 device and press enter to boot using PXC enabled NIC. WDS Boot Manager appears. Hit Enter key to continue with Network Boot. Wait while the environment is loading. The VM will boot using the .vim image configured in the WDS server. Click Run the Deployment Wizard to install a new operating system on the welcome screen of the MDT window. Enter the credentials of an account authorized to connect to the share on the MDT server. Let me enter administrator at msftwebcast.com. Enter administrator's password. Domain name is going to be msftwebcast.com. After entering the user credentials, click OK. Choose the Windows 11 task sequence created earlier. Click Next. Here, choose the computer details. Enter the name of the computer or choose if computer should be joined to the domain. I'm leaving this at the auto-generated computer name and join a workgroup. Click Next. On the Move Data and Settings screen, check Do not move user data and settings and then click Next. On the user data restore screen, check do not restore user data and settings and click next. Choose installation language, time and currency format, keyboard layout and time zone. Once ready, click next. Specify whether you want to capture an image. Remember, we are going for the clean installation of Windows 11 using MDT and WDS. But suppose if you want to capture an image of the existing computer, that time you can select the first radio button, capture an image of this reference computer. We'll go with the default selection, do not capture an image of this computer. Click next to continue. On the ready screen, click begin. The installation process has been started. The task sequence will install Windows 11 on this virtual machine. This process will take a few minutes to complete the Windows 11 installation in this virtual machine. Let's go back to our domain controller. Let's right click here and select refresh. We can see one installation is going on. This is the name of the computer, status is running and the step name is installing operating system. Percentage completed is 49. Total 90 steps are there and we are currently on step number 45. Let's go back to our Windows 11 VM. As we can see, 35% is completed. I'm not going to record the complete installation process. When the OS has finished installing, click finish in the success dialog box. Once the process complete, a virtual machine will restart. I hope now you have a basic idea about how to deploy Windows 11 using MDT and WDS. 
That's all for this video and mini video series on Windows 11 deployment with MDT and WDS. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.